lot, man. The SP5 is so playful and clickable. Just a really lively bike. But still, on the, on the heavier, more chunky stuff, it feels really plush and pretty stable. Man, this bike makes a lot of sense for a lot of people. All right, guys, we're out here riding the 2017 Yeti SB5. Man, this has been on my list to demo for a long time. Uh, as you guys know, I always loved the Santa Cruz 5010, which is uh, super similar to this SB5 in travel and kind of reach and everything. And it just kind of feels like a similar bike to me. So I was excited to ride this. Uh, Climbing, I've been climbing on it for about a half hour now and it feels, I mean, it feels great. I mean, something about Switch Infinity Link Yetis that just feels like extra good. I don't know, man. I, uh, every time I ride one, I'm super impressed. Anyway, this one's the uh, SLX XT build. It's like 4,800 bucks. Carbon frame, nice little bike. I think you can get the, uh, the GX Eagle build for four or 500 bucks more. Anyway, there'll be a link to the Yeti website in the description. Man, what a rad bike and just, man, Yeti's new frames, they're just, they're just such a good looking bike, man. I picked this one up from the guys over at Go Ride. They were kind enough to let me take it out and, uh, Man, they've got a ton of demos. I know I always tell you guys this, but if you need to demo a bike, don't think twice. Just go over to Go Ride. Got a huge fleet of demos. Uh, they carry Santa Cruz, uh, Yeti, Giant, Pivot, man, and probably a few other brands too that I just can't think of right now, but it's a cool bike shop. And uh, even if you're not looking to demo a bike or buy a bike, just go over there and say hi to Chris or Manny. They'll get you squared away, take a look at your suspension, make sure it's set up right. Just good guys over there. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Jason and mostly do bike reviews. Take a bike out and kind of give you my first impressions of it. What I think, how it climbs, how it descends, kind of who I think the bike's for. And, uh, I'm five foot eight. I ride mostly medium bikes across the board. I'm on a medium SB5 today. Anyway, stick around, uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, share it with your buddies. And for all the guys who've been here for the last year, just thank you. Uh, thank you for subscribing and sticking around with me. Love getting out riding bikes. Bikes are just so nice now. I mean, it's hard to pick a bad one. It's just a great time to be a mountain biker. And I'm just going to talk about it, guys. The Yeti doesn't have a water bottle cage inside the triangle of their frames. Yeti guys get it. Everybody else doesn't. Not everybody, but a lot of people wonder. So you can either stick the bottle below the frame down here. The bottle cage will fit right there. Or you can do what I do and you can stick a little 17 ounce water bottle that you buy from Costco or your local grocery store or wherever. Drink the top fourth of it and then stick it nice and flat in your pocket. See that? Just stick that in your pocket like that. Easy. It's all gone now. Now on my 5010, my Santa Cruz, I would sometimes feel like the rear shock would get a little overwhelmed and uh, just be overworked a little bit. So I'll be interested to see how this thing handles. Ah, uh, the last Yeti I rode was the SB 5.5. And that thing was like riding a magic carpet down this. This SB 5, you feel the trail a little bit more in between your feet, between your hands. Woo, it's a poppy bike though. Man, it's like really rigid but it uh, still handles it all really well, but good sturdy platform to stand on. <laughs> oh man, such a good trail.
<laughs> this is where the bike feels a little bit faster than the 29ers. Just right through that little section there. Right here is where the 29er is probably a little faster. Oh boy, that ardent uh, front tire just gives out on you a little bit. I don't know why Yeti doesn't spec this bike with a Minion. I mean, Cody Kelly is racing the same bike. I mean, a little bit different suspension, but he's racing this bike in the EWS. Let's put a Minion on here, Yeti. Oh boy. Hit the jump. Oh. Yeah, that's fun. Oh boy, get on the brakes. Man, I miss these kind of snappy little bikes. I've been spending so much time on my Santa Cruz Nomad. That thing's just so plush. <laughs> oh, yeah, these mid-travel 27.5 bikes are a lot of fun. And Yeti just builds nice bikes. Holy crap, dude. That handled Jacob's Ladder better than I thought it was. It felt awesome. I'd say, you know, it's been a while since I've ridden my 5010, but I'd say it was more plush and handled it a little bit better. That 150 mil up front feels nice. Uh, let's get on these buffed, these lower buff trails. And I mean, this is where this type of bike shines. I know it's gonna just absolutely hammer this section. And it's just so quick and nimble in these tight turns. Of course, a lot more so than a longer travel like my Nomad. Man, it's just snappy little bike. <laughs> Probably need to slow down a little bit in here. I just don't trust that Arden up front. Oh boy. There we go. I can't tell. Sometimes that rear shock feels really rigid and really stiff and other times it feels like deep or deeper anyway a little more plush but right there it felt really rigid which is fine because it's not a chunky section of trail but i have noticed that a couple times now okay there's a great little pumping section right here got these type of bikes yeah oh yeah right there <laughs> that's so good well i wish i would have been able to ride the previous generation uh, SB5. I never did ride that one um, to see what changes they made, but that feels like a really, really stiff, rigid platform that still feels plush and uh, and really fast, like nimble. Hey guys, just got back from my ride on the 2017 Yeti SB5 27.5 wheel size. Pretty rad little bike. Uh, man, I don't even know where to start. It's just a really snappy, quick, fun bike, really playful. Um, I'd be interested to see how it does on like some really rowdy stuff. I know a lot of guys are, are riding it. Uh, Cody Kelly's riding on the EWS, and so he smashes stuff on this, and so I'm sure it's capable. Uh, my trails don't have a whole lot of that, but uh, it felt good everywhere. Um, one thing I noticed is, is on my ride, um, I put the, uh, the rear shock to about 25% sag, and that was probably a mistake. I, I went back and took some air out of it. I ended up getting close to full travel, but uh, when I set it at 25% sag, I was only getting like that much travel out of the bike. So it felt a little rigid, a little stiff. I went and did another lap with it at 30% sag, and it, it did feel quite a bit better. Um, man, I, I love the way these Yetis climb. I'm always impressed. Um, you know, when I do these reviews, I think about who these bikes are for and who, who might buy this bike. And um, if you're in between the SB 4.5 and the SB 5, I feel like the SB 4.5 is, is almost just as plush going down some of the rowdier sections I rode today um, as this bike. And, uh, and maybe a little faster everywhere. So, so maybe I might lean that way, maybe a little bit, but... Um, for a 27.5 bike, it's definitely more playful than the 4.5. It's a very playful bike, very poppy, snappy, nimble, 
quick in and out of the turns, a lot of fun. I haven't ridden a bike like this in a while and uh, it was really a lot of fun to get back on it. And it's just such a good looking bike. Um, this is the SLX XT build. I'd probably spend the extra four or 500 bucks and get the Eagle build. Um, I looked on their website, it wasn't that much more money. So hop on their website, look around. If you get a chance to demo one of these, for sure get out and do it. Uh, if you're considering this or the 4.5, give them both a try. Um, anyway, I like this bike. All, all the Yetis climbed so well and this one was no different. I, I really had a good time on it. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hope it was helpful and uh, a good video for you. It's a great time to be a mountain biker. So many good choices. Thanks guys. Okay, I'll do a little jump track. Short on that one. A little short on the last one too.